Thanks to COVID, the high school football season has been an absolute marathon. We are entering week 15 with large schools wrapping up the regular season. And wouldn't you know it, nearly every single game has playoff implications. Let's start in 21-6A. Westbrook is already in the Division II playoffs despite struggling recently. The Bruins can still earn 21-6A's top playoff spot for D2. For that to happen, they'll need to beat Atascacita, and C.E. King must lose to Humble. Any other combination will send Westbrook to the postseason as the Division II second seed from the district. In 95A Division I, Port Arthur Memorial has wrapped up their first outright district championship in program history. It's also the first outright title for the city of Port Arthur since 1993. So the Titans are the top seed and will face Fort Bend Hightower in the bi-district playoffs next week. The game will be played in Port Arthur December 11th at 7 p.m. Sticking with 95A Division I, Beaumont United is in the playoffs for the first time in their three-year history. Now, there are a few scenarios for the Timberwolves, so let's take a look. BU can earn the number two seed with a win over Goose Creek Memorial and a Baytown Lee loss against Baytown Sterling. A win plus a Baytown Lee victory gives the Timberwolves the number three seed. Any loss against Goose Creek Memorial will drop United to four. In 12-5A Division II, Nederland is in. The Bulldogs have won five straight games since a one-point loss in Mid-County Madness. Nederland can earn the top seed with a win at Crosby Friday. A loss will give Nederland the two seed. And finally, Mid-County rival PNG has some work to do after a stunning loss at Texas City. The Indians are still alive despite dropping three of their last four games down the stretch. To grab the final playoff spot, PNG must beat Santa Fe and Texas City must lose to Barbers Hill. If that happens, the Indians will visit state-ranked Fort Bend Marshall next week. If that does not happen, the Indians will miss the playoffs for the first time since 2012.